Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We just did Kane, so it is time for our Judas run. I love this, it's a good opportunity. Let's make it happen, I don't love being on the cellar. 0H2J, that's a, a Hummer 2 Jalopy, of course, and then N3BJ is like, and, you know, minus the A, a silent A, three uh, Bon Jovis. What, do you think I was gonna say something, something lewd? That's not my style. Much more into the 80s uh, hair metal than the lewdness. Now, if you could just drop a bomb here. Uh, like, literally, this is maybe a little bit simplifying it, but if they just drop one bomb, or two bombs now, that might be enough to give us the win. Now, I know that that is a new level of ridiculousness when it comes to uh, calling a one run, but Judas balls out of control so quickly if you can just guarantee they, or he has the tendency to ball out of control so quickly. If you can just guarantee survival through the first couple of floors, and then, you know, there you go. That might be it right there, but I don't want to take the tension out of the run unnecessarily yet. We also need these, uh, tinted rocks to actually contain spirit hearts, which that one did, thankfully. In fact, I would actually almost like the small rock out of this one right now. Not that it's ever a bad thing, but, um, sure. Uh, well, you know what? We got more bombs out of that and a little bit more money as well, so I think I can I can be content with that. Of course, there were other options. I could have had uh, a cerebral infarction halfway through uh, blowing those up, and that would have caused a problem, you know, not only for my own survival, but also uh, concurrently for winning the run, or at least providing it with a decent chance of winning. Um, I could be fighting Fistula and or the Haunt, and that could cause us... Well, not end the Haunt. That would be one hell of a boss fight for the first floor. Thanks a lot, Satan. But, um, we're gonna have, uh, some, some tricky stuff. Still in the theoretical pipeline here. Mmm, that is, like, super not worth it. I will go quickly into, uh, our shop here. I am going to... I'm gonna do this. And I apologize to our donation machine for it, but... I'm gonna do this. I think getting an early map is really, really nice. That is enough money to make it happen, so I appreciate that, thank you. Of course, also, the uh, hive mind is really useful, I like it, but I do think that we're probably better off taking that early map, and we got mapping already, which is awesome. If we get the mind on the next floor, boy will I feel silly, but I'll feel silly with, uh, you know, two maps, which is definitely better than feeling silly with zero. Now, we will take that pill. It's a, it's a good time to take a pill. As Pink said, I swear you're just like a pill instead of better, you're making me ill. You know, I know Pink was one of the most popular recording artists of the 2000s, but at the same time, I have to question where she's getting her medicine from, because I have had some pills that have given me, you know, some poor side effects, but at the same time, I don't think it's enough to, you know, paint all the pharmaceuticals with the same brush. You know, when I got a headache, I have a tendency to take some Tylenol or some Ibuprofen, and I go, ah, oh, well, you got rid of my headache, but you grew me a sixth arm or something like that. That never happens. Pink, you gotta be more resp- you gotta read the warning labels, girl! You're gonna get yourself in a lot of trouble that way! That's how you end up getting, uh, you know, liver failure and stuff like that. You're abusing the pharmaceuticals in the wrong- the wrong way. I was hoping that would work. I was really hoping that would have a chance to find a second secret room. Maybe it did. Oh, that- there was definitely already a chance there. Alright, wow, that is not our second secret room. I'm a little disappointed. Also, apparently, I got a mouthful of marbles as I said that. Who threw those invisible marbles into my mouth? Was that you, Ron Jeremy? Invisible marballin' teabaggin' son of a bitch. Marballin'? I don't think that's a real word. Okay. HP. Mmm, sort of like half decent damage, but at the very least, enough uh, money to possibly spawn an arcade for the next floor. I do want to enter that room, but we're gonna have to wait until we make sure we get a, another key. I can skip the shop on this floor as long as we're not, you know, super short on spirit hearts and I'll feel okay about that, but uh, I definitely do not want to skip the item room. That is also not a special room. Got a lot of dead ends, but the good news is the spine of this level is such that we uh, will have the opportunity to get another uh, possible special room over here on the right side, another key. We will go back down to that room. I just want to open this one first. Man, you're lucky I came along. Yes, I I did murder him. I did murder him. However, that was meant to be, a, I guess, a British version of the robot for my robot. However, um, he, if I didn't come along, he would have been there until he died of old age. So in a way, didn't I free him from his corporeal prison? In a way, am, am I not the merciful one then? Let's see what we got here. Shoop the Whoop was obviously garbage. Two keys for golden poop. 
If we get enough money out of this to buy something from the shop, I'm not going to say it's a good deal. Mm, we're close, at least. I'm not going to say it's a good deal, but it might be an okay deal in that, you know, we had more of a shortage relatively of money than we did of keys, so... I'm trying to put a positive spin on it. Look, it's better than getting shoop the whoop in your item room, let's put it that way. I'd rather pay two cents, or sorry, two keys for six cents than one key for absolutely nothing, I suppose. We're up to 14 cents now, enough to make our shop potentially worthwhile. In fact, I would imagine that we're probably more likely than not to get to 15 cents just by shooting that poop. And this is really a major floor for us, which is why I'm trying to do my due diligence. I'm going to the dead ends. I probably should be using Book of Belial a little bit more often, but, you know, how many episodes can I say that in consecutively before it becomes uh, irrelevant? Thank you for that extra nickel there. Oh. Oh. One more, maybe? There we go. Just wanted to make sure I was staying away from it, but he was doing a good job putting himself behind cover. Let's see what we got here. A second chance to buy hive mine? Honestly, I think that that's like a completely appropriate uh, option for us. If we can get five more cents, I may actually find it in my heart to buy that spirit heart. Hanged man card makes that room good, and actually one more bomb would be amazing here. I doubt we'll get one, but maybe matchstick from the boss? Not that, uh, not that I wanted, but... It w ooh, never mind. We got what we exactly what we wanted. And we'll pick up another spirit heart and another key. Okay, it's a good position to be in. We're fighting uh, probably one of the more difficult versions of the Monstro fight, but uh, that's okay. Got Blood Clot, Lump of Coal. You know, our, our damage should cut them up pretty quickly. Like, this guy, I'm assuming, is like two hits away. And this other guy is probably like six or seven hits away, which is not really bad. Okay, this is an important moment for this run. We pretty much got to take whatever it is so we don't end up with uh, likely deals of the Angel. And it's good enough. I mean, it's kind of terrible, but it is good enough. Like, missing page two at least gives us precedent. And, uh... Well, I mean, that's about it. You know what? I'm gonna go quickly to the wiki. I'm gonna look up missing page two. Missing page two. Um, Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm gonna do some due diligence live on camera here. I didn't see it on, uh... Platinum God. I should go to Platinum God. This item is a reference to the Necronomicon of the Evil Dead. Gives you one black heart, activates the Necronomicon effect upon taking damage if the total sum of Isaac's red hearts, soul hearts, and black hearts is under one and a half hearts. So it gives you the Necronomicon effect if you get hit when you have low HP. That is not a particularly strong uh, ability. But it is stronger than the Razor Blade, which does nothing for us. There you go. Hopefully I'll remember now. I know some people are going to be like, yeah, Northern Line remembers something. That's real clever. Yo, that's a, that's a really rude thing to say. Don't you ever get tired of being cynical all the time, dong? It's a big, beautiful world out there. Once you have hope and optimism in your eyes and your heart, uh, it becomes a lot easier to see it. You don't need to be cynical. You don't need to be mean all the time. I know that you're only being mean to protect that nougaty, gooey center of emotion that you have within you. And you're worried that if you, uh, if you have some authenticity when you say it, then... If people insulted you, it would actually hurt because it's coming from a place of honesty, right? I'm not gonna insult you. Look, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Okay, let's move beyond that. I'm gonna try to remember what's going on with the, uh, missing page two. Gives you the scapular effect. I'm just fucking with you. I remember what it does. I'm not gonna let you put me on fucking trial here. Um, yes, okay. A cat piece out of a golden chest is pretty, pretty good. We do have a hive mind. I'm I'm thinking about it. Look, I love Book of Belial. Who don't? But uh, I'm thinking maybe we actually roll Guppy's head. Weirdly enough. Because, let me, let me count the ways, okay? The reasons here. We have Hive Mind. That's a big one. We can use Guppy's head every room. And I'm not very good about choosing when to use um, Book of Belial. Let's just get that out of the way. It's something that I, I probably should practice, but it's something that I'm not particularly amazing at. We can still use Book of Belial on this floor to get a deal with the devil. That's a little bit of a positive. We will lose the deals with the devil on future floors. Um, but we can at least still get one on this floor and maybe pick up another deal that means that we don't have to deal with the scarcity of it anymore. Three flies will actually do, like, a lot of damage as well. Three flies with hive mind, at least. So, I'm and sometimes two flies, sometimes four flies, but still. I'm thinking 
we might give it a shot. Maybe we'll see how the rest of this room goes. Uh, the rest of this floor goes. I mean, Little Brimstone is awesome. We've been getting that an awful lot lately. Not that I am complaining. I really, I have a preference. Maybe uh, if you wanted to put it in a negative way, you could even say a bias towards spacebar items that you can use once per room. Or more, uh, occasionally as well. I really feel like uh, they're a larger help for me. Of course, there are exceptions to the rule, like... Uh, D6. I love the D6. You can't use the D6 once per room unless you are terrible and also have the nun's habit, but... I gotta say, I think this might... And it's a little bit more interesting, right? It's a little bit more novel. There's no spirit heart in there, unfortunately. It's a little bit more novel, which I think, um... Sometimes I use that as an excuse to stay set in my ways, and sometimes... Oh, that was really terrible. Sometimes I use it as an excuse to maybe do some more stuff that I, uh... Perhaps should not be doing. But, what do we have here? That's not our second secret room. My mind is uh, is very confused right now. Just want to check in case there was the opportunity for us to find a secret room there. I'm going back to get Book of Belial, and this is how you know I'm serious about something. I'm backtracking. I can't remember if there's a battery in the shop, but at the same time, I believe we got a full Book of Belial charge as a result of... Um, fighting in that mob trap room. So we gotta use Book of Belial just to get a deal with the devil. What would be ideal here? Uh, well, of course, becoming Guppy, considering we have Hive Mind, would be awesome. Then we could stick with Book of Belial and not feel bad about it. But, or feel weird about it, at least. But, um... Apart from that, three Spirit Hearts for the Goat Head would kind of be the best of both worlds. We lose the damage bonus from Book of Belial, but I'm assuming that the damage bonus from having, let's say, uh, you know, ten flies every three rooms is going to be equivalent or even better. Do we sometimes get five flies, or is that just a leftover fly from an earlier room? This shouldn't really factor into my decision that much, but I'm, you know, splitting hairs here to try to come up with a tiebreaker to make the decision. We did get matchstick on this floor. Um, three bombs, that's okay. And just, well, free deals. Alright. You know what, Guppy's Head? You have a passive benefit, so I am going to stick with Book of Belial. You've already given us the cat piece benefit. You've given us a little bit more damage on that floor. I'm going to stick with the Bookie Bow to try to make the Guppy transformation come true. Why is it called the, the Bookie Bow? It doesn't really make any sense. If anything, it should be the Bookie Bay. Because it's the Book of B... Bay Lyle? Well, you know. I tried. It wasn't even trying to make a joke. I was just trying to make an acronym, and I failed a little bit. Let's see... Thought maybe we'd wait for Book of Belial to be ready here, but I also figured, you know, by the next room, all of our spiders will be gone. So, what's better, Book of Belial or, like, seven hive mind spiders? I, I made a decision. It might not have been the one that everyone will agree with, but, hey, as far as I'm concerned, it is a victory for us if we're talking about splitting hairs to that degree. Like, it is not uh, a big deal at all. We're talking about, oh shit, Northern Lion left an item behind on the last floor. That's a big deal. That's the kind of stuff we can get in a twist about. Whether or not he should have waited until he had the Book of Belial ready for the boss trap room that he didn't get hit on regardless. Seems a little bit of a Matthew... I was gonna say Matthew Petty. Which was intended to be a Matthew Perry reference. Which makes no sense because his name is Matthew Perry, not Matthew Petty. But, you know, the, the coffee maybe has not fully hit the bloodstream yet. It happens from time to time. One bomb, four cents. It's not a bad trade, necessarily, if we, uh... Have a surplus of bombs and, and find ourselves with a dearth of money. We should be using Book of Belial more, though. I'll, I'll be the first to admit multiple times in the same video that I am not good about that. Man. So instead of using one bomb to get four cents, I used two bombs to get absolutely nothing out of those mushrooms. But we could have gotten Magic Mush. Or a, you know, Tears Up pill, or a Balls of Steel pill. Or nothing at all, as it actually worked out. Maybe a Judgment in here? No, Blood Bank. Blood Bank's gonna be hard for us to play on this run. At least if the HP seems to stick the way it's going. Uh, that was sweet though, we did pick up a dime there, so we're not gonna be short on money. Hopefully we can get like a compass from our shop. Actually, you know what? Fuck that, Black Candle. I mean, it's not like, I said fuck that like we're making a grocery list. And I was like, no, I don't want Pringles, I want Bugles. I'm living large this week. Ooh, never mind, we are going to be able to use that blood bank. Thank you to uh, Jesse the Body Ventura for that uh, pick up there. Three extra HP is going to make this easy. Hopefully we'll be able to pick up a decent amount of money in the process. Uh, 
we didn't, but we did get Blood Bag. Blood Bag or Child's Heart? I don't know, they're kind of... Or sorry, not Blood Bag or Child's Heart. Um, Isaac's Fork or Child's Heart? I kind of consider them both the same level, roughly. Probably Child's Heart, I guess, is better because it drops uh, stuff that we can use. Like, the Consumable is better because we can choose not to use it. And we can give it to Dark Bum, but whatever. Fool card? I'm not thinking it's going to be that relevant for uh, a boss trap room. If I can, I will, but mostly I'm going to be looking at, hopefully, uh... Ooh, that's pretty good, too. Mostly I'm going to be looking at, uh... Using this to get out of a curse room or something, but... I'm happy with the choices we've made on this run, and I'm also happy with the RNG. I mean, like, the body and uh, little brimstone on two successive item rooms is really impressive. Hermit card, basically just a better version of uh, the Fool for us. Unless our shop is, like, real shitty. Um, I have to imagine that we were pretty close to the boss fight, so you know what? For once, I'm not going to be super mad about Curse of the Lost teleportation. I should be super mad about that damage. There's no reason for us to be standing there. Alright, this is where we get uh, Pentagram. This is where we get Magic Mush. This is where we get Torn Photo. This is where we get Synth Oil. And this is where we become Guppy. Well, actually, I do like Blue Cap. Little bit of personal preference in there. I know uh, some people out there are not completely convinced of this item, but I, I tend to like it, even though it does lower your effective range. Lump of coal, lump of coal. All right, Krampus' head, of course. We do not want Krampus' head. Krampus' head is uh, more like crappiest head. Well, look, again, can I use the caffeine excuse? The caffeine still has not hit the bloodstream. Take our Hermit card. I'm almost thinking we just pop this, like, right away, but then when I think about it, I'm like, what do we even gain out of doing that? Pretty much nothing at all. Deals with the Devil have been letting me down a little bit so far, I gotta admit. Oh, man, Necropolis XL. Uh, if I were the boss, I would be bottom left. And this is actually a great situation for us. It sucks because we'll have, uh, one less shop. And we don't have very much money right now. And if it's greed, it doesn't matter either way. We can't donate. Um, but... This is great because it's so easy for us to get in and out of boss rush because uh, especially with the map, we kind of have an idea of where we should be going and we have like six minutes to make it happen. So uh, I'm assuming we're going to be able to get into that boss rush room and then teleport out. I really don't want to fight it because we're not quite that strong unless our deal with the devil after the mom fight ends up giving us two guppy items or like just brimstone or mom's knife or something like that. So this is potentially a great situation, although now that I look at this, I'm like, this is, there's no way this is the way to the boss fight. Because we would have seen it by now. We would have seen the first one at least. So let's uh, bail out of this way, and I'm thinking we're going to go, uh, not that way. We're going to go up, up, right here. Like, not right there, because that's one extra room we have to go to to get on our way. And we'll go this way, and we'll try it out. And we probably can afford to make this mistake three or four times. We've already done one, so I, I'm feeling pretty positive about that, to be honest with you. Yo, we're still not doing quite enough damage for me to be super happy about this situation. But we did take care of that. Two extra keys is not bad. Boss fight. Okay, sweet. It should not be hard for us to kill these bosses, to be honest with you. I would not expect this to be too difficult at all. The adversary is annoying as hell. Not as annoying as Mom, though, so... We are going to be smart about this and save our Book of Belial play. Maybe we lose a, sp a few spirit arts in the process. You know, life goes on. Should not have been hit by that spider. That's like adversary 101. Whenever he stops, I gotta... You know that song, when I move, you move? Just like this. We're gonna do the opposite. When he stops, I move. But also, when he's moving, I move. There's like a, a footnote that we've had to make, make to the song. I'm sorry to whoever sang it for compromising the original integrity. You can bill me. Should have waited to use Book of Belial until uh, the foot was coming down, because Book of Belial automatically causes uh, your familiars to fire if you're charging them. Actually, it causes any charge shots to fire, I think. Good stuff. Not really thrilled about... Uh, the damage I took there, but it's better than the damage I took against the adversary. So we'll take Polaroid. I'm extremely disappointed with the quality of these deals with the devil, man. Uh, but in here, we will take Magic Mushroom. Yes, even over the uh, the cancer item, for sure. Uh, I will try to buy the compass, because map plus compass is awesome. Even without a uh, 
you know, black candle. Even without a black candle uh, to protect us there, I still think this is the right play. Magic Mushroom, by the way, I feel is almost certainly the right pick up there. I barely even looked at what the other items were. I hope I didn't pass up like Proptosis or something, but Magic Mush is so good. Okay, one more. One more. Oh, zero more. Okay. Uh, red chest, please. Red chest at night. Sailor's behest. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> red chest at night. Streamer's delight. Red chest in the morning. Sailor streamer is yawning. Yarn. That's you want my uh, the the trick to any good goofy impression is you replace a, a W sound with like a RM. It doesn't work for every word, but gosh becomes gorsh. Easy. Yawn becomes yorn. Easy. Uh, th probably the best impression I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, it took Tiny Planet, aka the Forever Spins. If you got a problem with it, you take it. You don't like it, Napoleon. You can leave. I think this item is mostly bad, but I have faith that Little Brimstone can kind of carry me if things get too hard. And also that, um,. Eventually, our deals with the devil won't be as shitty as they've been thus far. I believe that we can get a, uh, a death's touch or something like that. Maybe even from this very curse room. Two bombs. We could try to get our way into the... Uh, into the secret room. I'm just gonna go for it, though. One red chest. Flies. I mean, I love it because of Hive Mind, but I hate it because it's not like the exact item I wanted, but I guess that makes me sound like a little bit of a baby. Two more keys. The item room's got to be over here, I think. There's just no more, ah, there's just no more space left. Well, uh, I'm very happy, and you don't hear me say this too much, but I'm very happy that we have uh, so much HP. Normally, I'd be happier to have gotten rid of some red hearts, but... We don't really have that uh, option here. Cricket's head, that's able. That's the wrong kind of head, but it's okay. Oh, there's a tinted rock. Small rock would be amazing here. That's my bad. I totally deserve that situation. Okay. We may end up in a situation where Child's Heart ends up helping us out quite a lot. So I, uh, I am appreciative of this. Should probably stop walking into spikes. That's like uh, not taking damage 101. There is no not taking damage 102, because everything pretty much gets covered in the first course. It's more of a filter course for the, the game, to be honest. Oh, yeah, Spoon Bender. Don't mind if I do. So this might make Tiny Planet a little bit better. And now if we can get, like, some technology or beam or something like that, uh, I will be thrilled. By some beam, of course, I mean, you know, if Brimstone would be nice. Hey, uh, you know, don't shoot the messenger. Yeah, these shots are a little bit better now. I, I still, you know, Tiny Planet still is not fully compensated for, but it is what it is. Let's get the heck out of here. Uh, actually, let's telepills. All right, now let's get the heck out of here. There was a mini boss I didn't fight. It could be Ultra Pride, but I'm going to bank on it probably not being Ultra Pride. And by Ultra Pride, I mean not only Ultra Pride, but Super Pride. I actually meant Super Pride, but now that I think about it, Ultra Pride would be fine as well. Let's get the hell out of here. We got Map plus Compass, decent HP, decent damage, homing tears, uh, and of course, one more deal with the Devil, because this is not an XL floor, so life's good there. We do have a Double Trouble Room here. Little Brimstone is also a huge help for us, so I'm feeling pretty good. We also have a, uh, a dirty look from chat, I'm sure, for not using... Book of Belial as often as I should. So let's uh, let's try to rectify this. Red chest, red chest. Nope. That was a golden chest, which is, is in, uh, tempting in its own way. Probably Rosary Bead, sure. Isaac's, uh, Isaac's Fork has not really had an opportunity to do anything for us. We don't need to worry about, uh, you know, Red Heart Precedent or anything like that. We're going to get a deal with the Devil. World card, literally worthless. For us, not in all situations. Don't let me misrepresent it. This will be an, an interesting test. How quickly does Polycephalus go down? Well, I should not have taken damage there, but that's my fault, not the game's. Um, cherry card, much less useless. Double Gate Room is actually like a little... 
it's a little uh, scary for this point in the game, but we might as well get used to it because this is the caliber of room that we're going to come across fairly frequently on the chest, so uh, might as well give it the, the try here. Remember, the red heart damage doesn't matter that much as long as we live because we do have uh, Book of Belial. Pentagram is great. Rotten Baby is also great. I got to admit, HP is a little scary. I don't think there's any reason not to go down. Like, we could use our Chariot card and try to get some HP, but why don't I just uh, use my Chariot card on one of these rooms to try to get more HP, you know? Like, it doesn't make a big difference either way, I think. <laughs> please, please, approach, approach the podium! They stopped approaching the podium. You are, yes, thank you. Okay, so this, uh, this arcade represents a lot of things to me. It represents hope. It represents the will of the people to persevere and survive. It represents this great nation and the challenges that we have had to face and the challenges that we have overcome. Most of all, it represents faith. The faith that we will not mistreat the game and the game will not mistreat us. Let's go in there and give them hell. I don't know what I was trying to go for there, but you, you get the idea. I am playing this key beggar, man. Hook me up. Uh, not super thrilled about the bean either. Oh, that's a guppy item. You asshole. Well, I'm gonna play you till I get down to four keys, so might as well go for it. You could give me attack fly, which is like not really that big of a haul. That's pretty good though. Paperclip means we don't ever need to uh, worry about keys for golden chests again. So in a way, you know, he pretty much paid for himself. We had to get rid of rosary bead to make it happen, but. It's okay. Just keep it moving here and we got no problems. Wrath is not a fight that I'm truly interested in. Mr. Mega would be okay, but I don't think that comes from Wrath. I think that comes from Super Wrath. One of these days I'm gonna, you know, I'll be well versed or advised, let's say, to commit that to memory. But for now, this is, this is fine. Uh, actually, that arcade did work out completely okay for us. We got what I would consider to be a better trinket, and um, got back to full HP, but wasn't quite what I was looking for. I'm only scared of the chest, to be honest with you. Like, I think the, I think the cathedral is gonna be fine. I think the rest of the womb is gonna be largely okay. We're doing pretty good damage. I mean, we did pick up the pentagram from our last boss. I'm just, uh, and Rotten Baby actually is a great pickup as well. Just a little bit worried about. Um, about the chest. If we don't get good items, you know, it doesn't take much to whittle us down, put us in a really, uh, really tough position. So I actually, that's how you know I'm a little scared. I'm picking up every consumable that drops, man. Try this one. Okay, man, not having great luck on second secret rooms here. Okay, this is, yeah, little brimstone. You're gonna be the focus of hitting the little ones, and then we're gonna try to make sure that our tiny planet and rotten baby gets in there for the big ones. And man, that's actually doing quite a number on the enemy. Now, we just cross our fingers and say, no curse of the lost. Living in the curse of the lost. Curse of the lost. Um, so, the boss fight is like upper left. It's kinda hard to see there. We have to do this room. I will look at the, um, at the dice room. Four room could be good, five room is worthless, one and six rooms I would do just to be, just to be me. Even though this run is a little zany in its own right, there's Mr. Mega. We don't really want that. Um, you know what? Let's wait to pick up Mr. Mega until we see if that is a, uh, indeed, a four room. Because if it's a four room, we might be better off taking not Mr. Mega. Like, our damage is such that we don't really need to use bombs to do our dirty work for us, you know? Like, Mr. Mega's not bad, but uh, anything that actually affected our tears in a positive way would be much better because we're gonna be using those all the time anyway. Got a library as well. I really don't see myself using a key to go to the library just because I'm already gonna be using two keys to go to the double key room, which is going to put us... Oh, actually, you know what? I might as well because I can open all the chests on the chest, so it's not like I have to save it. So a two room just rerolls the consumables on the ground in this room. It's... it's not terrible, I guess. Like, 
It wasn't necessarily great either, but it doesn't really affect uh, things very much. And we'll open this, and... Honestly, like, I don't really want any of these, which is kind of what I figured was gonna happen anyway, but... Sure. <laughs> I did do my due diligence there, one way or the other. And it's looking like I'm feeling pretty good. That is a very weird coin drop there. Please don't. Ah, oh, well, we do have 18 bombs. It's not so bad. Secret room. Yes, okay. Our luck has changed a little bit. Thank God I'm using Book of Bilal so much, so these batteries uh, are, aren't making me feel bad about myself. Ahahaha. <laughs> Seriously, though, I need to learn that. Oh, well, though. It's, we're still fine. And actually, uh, to be honest with you, three flies is not a terrible trade for two bombs. Even though the three flies are immediately gone, and we summon three flies in like a quarter of a second ourselves, thanks to Rotten Baby, no big deal. Alright, so it all does come down to the chest to a certain extent. I think we are in a situation where we should win, even if we get absolutely nothing useful from the chest. So it is, this is a, a run that's on me. RNG Jesus has been relatively kind. Kinder than we've seen on some runs in the past. What we have to do is we have to hold up our end of the bargain and take as little dumb damage as possible. I don't really classify that one as dumb damage. That was a that was a tough shot to dodge. Yeah, we got to through that phase before he even summoned any assholes, so I think that's a good sign for us. Rotten Baby Flies helping out a great deal. He's gonna be dead in the next phase. Which is great. So all we need is to maybe get like one defensive item and then just don't fuck it up. I'm a little scared. No curse as well would be awesome. Curse of the Maze is one of the better curses for us. Okay. Um, Iron Bar is at least some damage. Lazarus Rags is respawn. And Mom's Eye maybe allows us to fire more shots occasionally thanks to the its synergy with Tiny Planet. But that's, I'm, I'm kind of just spitballing here. I don't know if that's actually true. I'm just throwing out theories. All in all, I'd say that was probably like a C grade. Um, oh, that was really bad of me. That's like a C grade for chest items. But Iron Bar's okay. Mom's Eye might be okay. I was like, I didn't take the left hand down here, did I? Um, and actually, Curse of the Maze ended up being A plus tier. But uh, Lazarus Rags could end up saving the run for us. So, you never know. 99 bombs. Not really a huge deal. At this point, but I guess it's nice. And that second secret room, that was an A itself. Maybe a, maybe a B plus. That's fine. Okay. Just gonna keep ourselves moving here. Um, we do have Lazarus Rag, so we will respawn on this room if we have to respawn. But he's below half, and I am not below half. So I think every second that this progression happens is great for us. Why was I scared about the Judas run, man? That went perfectly fine. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. I've said a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.